Hello everyone and welcome back yet again to another week here on the GSMC Fantasy Sports Podcast brought to you as always by the GSMC Sports Network. I am your host as always, Christopher Shepard. Thank you all for tuning in yet again and to kick off the week, we shall have a great show ahead, a great slate of segments for you today. Starting off, talking some Monday Night Football, an interesting game between the Giants and the Steelers will take place tonight, and I've got you all covered from a betting perspective there. Then, as always, we look to our NFL and college football fantasy stars the weekend, the guys who impressed me the most over this past week. I begin my positional rankings with my QB picks for week nine of the NFL season and conclude today's show with my favorite segments, my ever popular segment, my bold fantasy predictions, or my don't be surprised if, if you will, segment. But before we get into any of that good stuff, I do want to remind you, as always, that if you want to see more content such as this across many different shows, across many different networks here at GSMC, consider liking, following, and subscribing to the show and the network as a whole. But if you want to interact with shows such as my show or others around the network as well more directly, consider making yourselves available to the Super Chat, Super Things, and Super Stickers features here on YouTube. You can do one of two things to interact with us here on YouTube. You can press that dollar sign in your comment section, leave a tip or donation, or just leave any burning questions, comments, or concerns you may have surrounding my show. You can do it for other podcasts as well, and it's greatly appreciated because we know that it makes our shows that much more better. But without further ado, let us jump into our first segment of the day, and let us talk some Monday Night Football. Sorry, guys, I may have some uh, mixed-up little graphic subtitles here. Well, we'll make do as we can, but let's talk about this Monday Night Football game first and foremost because it's one of those games that's not as appealing as you would like, but it certainly is one that warrants, you know, consideration, especially from a betting perspective. So there we go. We might have to fix these little subtitles here as we go along, but that is my mistake and we will have to just go head on. But looking at this game, especially from a betting perspective, I feel like it was made more clear what with, you know, the Steelers really honing in on starting Russell Wilson. I feel like if Justin Fields were the starter for this game, there may have been more question marks surrounding, you know, how this game would play out for Pittsburgh, but now I feel more confident that Pittsburgh will be the winners of this game. The Giants right now, on the other hand, are an offense who really aren't looking that much or that much appealing to uh, NFL audiences. They're not an offense that can generate enough to keep up with certain teams and while the Pittsburgh Steelers are certainly a team that I feel like still have some major flaws and the fact that Russell Wilson you know as good as he was last week against New York there still are some cracks to be papered over I still think you know that if you're the Giants you really aren't necessarily going to be in many more games such as this or have opportunities against many more teams if this is what your offense looked like. You kind of start the season a little bit sneakily, getting decent wins against Seattle, and, you know, getting Malik Neighbors going early, which was paramount to your success. But now, if you're a Giants fan, or if you're the Giants in general, you've kind of dropped off the face of a cliff, really, in terms of offensive production. However, I feel like this game is going to be one or lost by both teams for that matter, on the defensive side of the football. I feel like the Steelers' defense is one that right now should still be an elite, almost top 5 to 10 unit, but feels more middling in almost every statistical metric than in past years. I feel like this Steelers' defense can definitely be one of those defenses that can be solved rather than, you know them really leaving their mark on marks on certain games but this Giants offense is going to be very challenged especially you know if their deep ball prowess or any sort of short to intermediate area throw gets taken away from them so I feel like a large part of the Giants success at least in the offensive end of things 
will have to stem from the run game. And not for nothing, I do like certain elements of the Giants' run game. I like the fact that, you know, they feel they have some depth in that area of their offense, but it's about utilizing that depth in a way that is able to sustain offensive drives and most importantly retain the ball for as long as possible because I feel now with the Steelers you kind of feel like Russell Wilson is capable of running an efficient offense that really takes away your ability to gain momentum throughout the game because even though Russell Wilson the big part of why a lot of people thought he would be the better starter for the Steelers when all was said and done, was because of his deep ball prowess. He still is someone who can be efficient, whether it be in the play action or in the run game, and keep his offense on schedule. So that should be the worry and concern for the Giants offensively as well as defensively, because offensively, you don't necessarily want to be playing keep up. You want to retain the football for as long as possible, keep the Pittsburgh offense off the field, and most importantly, find a way to solve that Pittsburgh defense. And you can if you utilize your running backs properly because Singletary is someone who has had his peaks and valleys this season. He's had a couple fumbles early in the season. He hasn't really been that effective in the red zone. But if you can get him going, then that can alleviate some of the burden on Daniel Jones' shoulders and the shoulders of the passing game. So look for the Giants running backs to really try and make their mark in this game. As for the Steelers, I think their game plan is just going to see if Russ can employ some of the same things we saw in the New York game and have it carry over. Because he proved that he can be a starting quarterback in the system. Now we just have to see it on a more consistent basis because make no ands, ifs, or buts about it. The Steelers look... Like they could be a playoff team right now. The reason I'm only saying could is because of the fact they can't get caught up in, you know, beating inferior opponents and then feel as if, you know, they can beat the Ravens and the Chiefs of the world come playoff time. No, they have to understand that there are still flaws to this team. For example, the wide receiver core is still thin. Like I said, there are ways to score against this defense. So you have to, A, make sure that you feel like Russ is going to be the answer of the quarterback position for the season, but B, most importantly, adjust to things now rather than later. Because if you see little deficiencies in your game plan in this game, it's easier to fix in this game where you feel like you should win than in a game where you feel like the cards are stacked against you. Because then, that takes away some of the excitement of your start to the season, if you're the Steelers. And I feel like, for tonight's game, this is going to be the game where the Steelers kind of iron out all the kinks. They look good in some aspects, look bad in others, and ultimately they come away from this game with a win, which I think they will, most importantly, more answers about how they can fix this whole operation to get it looking like a well-oiled machine. Because, not for nothing, that small sample size we saw in that New York Jets game was very impressive for this Russell Wilson-led offense. There are still some things that could do with some tailoring. And so, going forward, It's up to, you know, the coaching staff and, you know, Russell Wilson to understand the comfortability of where they are as a team right now. And they're a solid football team. Don't get me wrong. But there are ways they can fall back a little bit in the AFC playoff picture if, you know, things start to go awry. For the Giants, this game, I feel like, is necessarily a must-win game because I kind of feel like they're playing themselves out of the NFC race, even though the NFC race is so crowded. I feel like, you know, there are some aspects of the Giants that could get them wins against opponents such as the Steelers, but tonight, I just don't feel it's their night. I feel like, you know, that game against Philly was very, very much a wake-up call where they understood the ineptitudes of their offense. If anything, though, 
the defense can keep this thing close. I love the defensive front. I love the versatility of guys like Lawrence and Thibodeau. I love how they contribute to this offense. I mean, the defense. That being said, you're going to have to really dominate the time of possession if you want to have any chance of beating the Steelers team. Because, like I said, this is still a team that predicates itself a little bit on the abilities of Russell Wilson in the passing game. And so, there could be some dangers there for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But, I feel like the best path forward, the Giants to prevent anything going completely off the rails and to make this game as close as possible is to run the football. Because there are some moments where, you know, it looks like Daniel Jones can be effective, but there are some where he gets kind of caught up in the moment like we saw against Philly. So it's going to be about whether or not we get a semi-decent Daniel Jones. It's going to be whether or not the the Giants can run the football effectively. It's going to be whether or not, you know, the Steelers' offense still has some kinks to be ironed out, and as a result, it shows up on the football field. But other than that, I feel like the Pittsburgh Steelers are the far superior team in this one, and that is why I am picking them to win this game. I think maybe, you know, the Giants can cover this spread because a a 6.5-point spread is pretty high for the Steelers team that's still trying to figure itself out. But look for this to be a very scrappy football game early, and maybe we see a little bit more of what Pittsburgh can be down the stretch in this one. But let me know what you think in the comments because this is a truly bizarre Monday Night Football game that I'm not sure a lot of people outside of the few Giants and Steelers fans I know will be really excited about. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. But coming up on the other side, we begin looking at our fantasy stars of the week, starting off in the NFL. Hopefully, your guys' favorite players will be on this list. So, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to talk about it. <laughs> 